Good afternoon, this is Pam with Follow Your Brush and I am so glad that you are here with me on this chilly day wherever you're living. It's chilly in the United States just about wherever you live. I don't know about overseas, but um, I know I have viewers in Ireland and the UK and I welcome you as well. Today I wanted to do a little show and tell because I just got a beautiful delivery at my front door. I seriously, I know love might be a strong word, but you know, when it comes to my art supplies, there are some that I really, 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 really like. <laughs> and it probably comes close to using the word love, although I know we misuse that word, but it's my Etcher sketchbooks. An Etcher in January just released a set of square format cold press, 100. 40 pounds. Well, actually, this is 230 GSM, not quite 140 pounds. The um, 140 pounds is 300 GSM, but these are delightful, and I use these all the time. And I was more than delighted, excited, overjoyed to find that they were coming out with a square format in January. They also have different sizes, and they also have a panorama uh, sketchbook as well that you can open for long, flat panoramic paintings. So I started with this, and yes, I bought the package of three. Lest you say, why three? That's expensive. Well, when it comes to my art practice, I have discovered that uh, sometimes less expensive is not more. <laughs> when I'm painting, maybe if I do less is more as far as not overdoing my painting. But when it comes to buying my good supplies, I have just come to the point where if I'm not really in love with the paper, I'm not going to buy it because you feel like you're kind of fighting with your supplies while you're painting. Uh, it doesn't sit on the paper well or it sits on the surface. It doesn't absorb. And to me, I would rather spend that little extra and get something that I really, really enjoy working on. So I do buy this set of three um, because I go through them rather quickly. I have stacks of these Etcher sketchbooks, not the square ones because that's new. But here is the new one that I just received and I just opened it. And as you can see, the paper is nicely textured. I hope you can see that. Maybe not, I don't know. But it's nicely textured watercolor paper. It lays flat because the seams are sewn, not glued. And you can, um, there's this, well, the center's here somewhere. Center of the book. It has a nice ribbon for you to hold your place and an elastic binder to come over the top. And then I, what I like to do is I like to put clips on mine. I have it on this one. Um, and then if I'm out painting, I can put a little palette on the magnetic clip while I'm painting. But this is the new square one, and I am absolutely delighted. That's not the only size I have used, though. Etcher and I are great friends. This is the B5, also the white cloth cover. But I wanted to do a little show and tell and show you a couple things I've done in this one. The nice thing about these is I can just take them with me. This particular day, I went outside. This is a log in my tree, a log in my tree, a tree in my yard that actually is diseased. That's what this is about. <laughs> but uh, it was this portion that was sticking out and I just decided to try to play with that. But this is the tree in the springtime or summer. This was in August in uh, bloom. It's a dogwood tree. And I just went outside and sketched and then came in and um, added my paint because it was kind of hot out here in August. Another one I did in this one, um, just talk about sticking it in my bag and taking it with me. This is a painting. <laughs> this is a painting of a reference photo from Washington State that a friend sent me. It was also in August. Uh, this I just had with me in the doctor's office. There was a painting on the wall, actually a photograph of some cows in a pasture, and I was just practicing my pencil sketching while I was waiting for my appointment. 
And obviously it's not done because they called me back. But I was working on proportions and uh, perspective, and that type of thing. So sketchbooks give you a great opportunity to um, just play and take it wherever you want to go. Let me go to the next one. This is the, what I started on actually is this size. Um, this is the perfect sketchbook. It has a fall leather cover. Paper is 100% cotton. This is one that I did just plain. This was June of 2022. If you watched me, you know I like to just play and let paints and colors run. I just love colors. I don't care what kind they are. I Well, I do care. I have my favorite brands, but um, I love color. I just love color, period. And uh, I'll just sit and play. This one actually took me quite a while, probably. I was just zoned out with doing this. And uh, I call it my psychedelic hamster wheel because I could just see when I was finished a little hamster coming in here and running through all the tunnels. So it really wasn't meant to be anything, which is kind of an abstract playtime. I've done some serious things in this also. Um, well, let me see. I'm not that crazy about that one. Let's go to, this is another one. This is another one I did. Uh, did this in uh, September of 2022. In fact, I think I may have a video on actually painting this one. I worked on it several times before I was finally happy. So that's the perfect sketchbook, nice, large landscape size. Then this is, sorry about that, one of my other favorites. This is called the Signature Sketchbook Limited Edition. This is leather. Uh, the Perfect Sketchbook Limited Edition. This is from 2023. They generally are only available once a year. This year, I do believe they still have more in stock and they're a bit, uh, readily available. But this is Fabriano Artistico, 100% cotton, 140 pound. Here's one that I did that I really love. They also lay flat. I had a friend who was um, FaceTiming me and sending me pictures live of the first snowfall in his town in Poland. And the pictures were absolutely magical. And I did not get every single detail, which in watercolor kind of for me defeats the purpose because it's not really about the detail. It's more in watercolor, you just kind of want to get the feeling. Snow reflects the colors around it. And believe it or not, I have purple in here. Who would have thought? But it just worked beautifully. And I had to be careful because this tree was huge and this person was small. And my first couple sketches, I had the person, I was thinking about the people and I had them bigger than the tree and that was not the proper proportions. So I had to work on that. And then these people are going into the distance. So they're smaller and further back. But I really enjoyed this one. And the perfect sketchbook, I kind of say for just very special paintings that I want to do. Does that mean they're all perfect and come out correctly? No, but I do kind of like to save this one. And when you have the really, really good paper and the paints that you enjoy and the brushes you enjoy, it's like painting just is a delight. It's just a delight and you're able to just kind of get lost and the etcher sketchbooks enable me to go there to that wonderful magical place <laughs> this is another one i did that same uh from that same series of pictures from my friend he took a picture of this house with the first snowfall and i was just captivated by it so i went in and uh, and did this one as well I did it in a couple layers. This one, I actually, I think it took me two days, two or three days, because I let my layers dry in between. If I do anything, make a huge mistake, that's it. I get too much of a hurry. I have to let them dry and then come back and relayer, which this paper allows me to do nicely. And I did the same with this. I think this was an overnight dry and then come back the next day and then come back in with some opaque color to uh, get the feeling of the snow. And then I did just a slight, slight ink to um, outline and get the idea of the, of the house in the snow. So that's my perfect 
signature series sketchbook, which I encourage you to purchase as well. And this one is a really fun one. Last summer, my daughter and grandson took a trip. He's 28 and he had his first paid vacation that he's ever had. He's a software engineer. And so he invited his mother on a trip with him to Washington DC for eight days. And they just had a fabulous time. She sent me pictures throughout the day, each day as they were traveling. And this is my little A6 cloth size. And what I did is when she sent me her pictures during the day, I sketched it in pencil. Then I went over it in ink, erased the excess pencil marks, and then I went in with my paint. And I just had some really, really good time. Actually, some of these I spent hours and hours on during the day painting so that when she came home from her trip after her eight, nine days, this is one of my favorite pages actually. And don't ask me why, I don't, I don't know, but I just, this is one of my favorite pages. <laughs> I just got to see like I got the shadows and the arches well, and um, it's just it was one of my absolute favorite pages. This was my grandson laying in bed with his toes sticking up because uh, it was a rainy day, he was still in their bed. Some days I actually spent hours on these paintings. Here's another one. Um, obviously the Capitol, and I used a little glitter on that. And this particular day it was storming and they couldn't go outside, so that was the view from their window. Um, this one I kind of got a kick out of. They went to the Smithsonian Institution and um, it was the American history and I put things on, on the walls like, um, 1950s isn't that long ago, and um, this you find your mother's stuff in here, stuff like that. And it was they were there on the anniversary of 9 11, and she sent me a picture of their TV screen and their table there in front of their TV at the hotel. So that's what I was. So when she came home, I gave her this little sketchbook as a memorial, not a memorial, memory souvenir. And uh, it was an excellent, excellent practice. This is how many steps she went on that particular day. It's the Washington Monument. Just so when they came home, I was able to give her this as they're playing, as they're departing. And then she and my grandson holding hands on the plane. So this little size, A6, is also just a wonderful size. I really encourage you, really strongly encourage you, if you like to paint, you like to paint on the go, you want something that you can put in your purse or pocket, little travel backpack, whatever you might use to carry your travel supplies, I really encourage you to look into these. Look into Etcher. I, I've been using them now for about three years. This is the new square one. This is one that I have not as yet opened. It's like I said, I bought in a pack of three. These are not yet open either because I buy them in a pack of three and I keep them in the box and don't open them. Uh, so it keeps them free from the humidity or whatever in the house. Someone said they didn't like to buy them because watercolor paper goes bad. I've never had that experience with Etcher ever and I do buy them uh, in advance in packs of three but I've never had that problem. Maybe because I paint every day and I enjoy using them. And um, so we, I go through them. I go through them rather quickly. And um, I just encourage you to check them out. It's etcherlab.com. I'll put a description in my, and link in the description. Thanks for watching Pam with Follow Your Brush and just listening to me as I go on and on about my supplies and what I love and play with. And uh, thank you for joining me, liking and subscribing and all those things that people do on Facebook and YouTube. I'm glad you're here. Talk to you later. Bye.